Hey everybody, I lost my light here and a couple of my rig lights are missing. The ones that are attached to the rig, they are on, but I also am missing, I think, about four more. Uh, so I apologize, but I am going to switch this shot. You can't see what I'm doing. All this is just my cast iron skillet, okay? So you're not missing anything. Uh, here's the star show. I tried to get the lights on as best as I can by myself. All right. Here is how I make my dressing. All right, one recipe of my cornbread. Now, you know, look, I've been known to quadruple this before. It depends on how many people are coming. But this I'm making especially for you. Uh, it'll get eaten, believe me. But I am making this for you because the truth is, you see this? That wouldn't do doodly at my Thanksgiving. So anyway, I am making this. And if you need to double it or triple it, you can. And you're still going to want to taste it. So you're going to want to add your eggs in last. You will add your eggs last because you want to taste for salt and maybe your other seasonings. Some people add it, some people don't. I definitely add poultry seasoning. Uh, this is not my poultry seasoning. Remember what I said about picking your battles? You know, stuff happens. I'm moving. So uh, it was either get it done or not. I didn't have time to be, I can't find my spice grinder anyway. <laughs> so with that, let's get started, okay? Hetty's Thanksgiving cornbread dressing, not stuffing. And you'd never catch me shoving anything up a turkey's you know what, except maybe, you know, a couple of stalks of celery and some onions for flavor, but <laughs> during the cooking process, but you know, I don't eat stuff out of a bird's whatever. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> Let's move on. All right, going back to this is that whole I just did it with my clean hands. I went in there. Uh, they might be a couple little chunks here and there, but pretty much not. All right, so there's the cornbread, all right? And then here's what I'm adding. Let me show you what this is. You know how I'm always telling y'all about preparing ahead? Well, that's exactly what I did here, and this is what I do all the time. I have not done a video on this, but quite often I will, I, I, y'all know I love my caramelized onions, but uh, this is a mixture. This is a special mixture I did for this. But I do saute off celery, like if it's on sale or something. I'll, I know what I use, and I've told you all this too. And if you are more power to you, maybe I could learn something from you. I'm not one of these people that uh, free stuff. Oh, it's good. It's been in there for two years or whatever, you know. I don't, I, I don't, I rarely go past about four months. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, long story short, I do freeze stuff, but I think ahead, what am I using in the next, say, four to six weeks? I usually don't go past that, really. It's just the truth. That's just how I am, and that's how I've been for many, 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 many years. Okay, so back to the dressing. All right, this is, uh, uh, about three stalks of celery. I ribbed, I, I need to show y'all my celery trick and I hadn't done that, have I? Uh, anyway, I took the ribs out of it so nobody gets that weird little piece of thing stuck between their teeth, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> and anyway, I did these, look, low and slow. Y'all, like I said, you know I love my caramelized onions. These are not caramelized. I put them in the pan just like you've seen me do with my caramelized onions. Now with the dressing, you want your onion minced and you want your celery minced. Very teeny, I don't know if you like big hunks, knock yourself out. But if you're being friendly to other people in your family or friends you've invited over, you sometimes even if you think you know somebody, you don't necessarily know things like they hate big onion chunks or something. So out of courtesy, I mince mine up, but having doing that, you got to keep your fire low. Don't text, don't talk, don't play merge dragons while you're cooking this, because you will forget. Doesn't take much when you're sauteing something minced. It can burn so easily, pardon me. Uh, so anyway, 
low and slow, low and saute, but none of this five minute stuff. You want for dressing, you want this really nice and softened. Some people puree it. I don't see the point to need to do that. But if you saute this low and slow, I will probably end up doing a video for that, okay? Uh, if I have time, I will in the next couple of weeks, but it is holidays, next week's Thanksgiving, it is hectic. And I'm living with a million boxes and can't find anything. Well, okay, so back to the food. So I got my celery and onions in there. This is two onions and about, it was three and a half, because that's kind of what I had left. But look, the onions and bell, uh, celery are to taste, okay? Now, a lot of people don't like to put this. I, I'm starting off with a tablespoon of, not a, not a tablespoon, uh, about two teaspoons of poultry seasoning. No, it's not mine. You know I make it. You definitely know I make it. I've made it before. I might have to do a new video on that. I put about a quarter, a little a heaping quarter teaspoon of pepper because we like pepper in our dressing. If you don't, leave it out. Now you're gonna taste for salt later, but not right now. Now's not the time to do it. So now, you see I've got all that mixed. I got three chopped up eggs and you see I minced them up pretty good. I didn't mush them, but they are cut fine. And I'm gonna fold that in. If you don't like boiled eggs in there, don't put it. There's lots of optional ingredients. This is how I'm making it this year. You name it, I've tried it. Sometimes I put chicken in there. I'm not doing it this year. Uh, I have put bell pepper in there. My daddy loved to put bell pepper in, in the dressing. Uh, so sometimes we do two pans. I do, you know, half. Now this is a single recipe, but you know, we were always double or quadrupling. So we'd make some with, some without. Uh, I've put rice. If you wanted to put rice in, in a single batch, I don't know, I'd go with maybe about three quarters of a cup. You know what, I didn't. I just now thought about this literally right then. You might get, is that Uncle Ben's? Uh, or something like this, if you want to cook that little amount of rice, my goodness, that'd be a pain in the butt to me. I'd rather just tear a pack out and throw it in. If you want rice in there, it's good like that. But uh, anyway, uh, and I don't have them this year, but I usually put about a half of a pint, nah, less than that, about a quarter of a pint of chicken livers, because I'm doing my chicken livers for my gravy, but I'm not making it. Guess what? I know how to pop a jar of turkey gravy just like everybody else can. That's what I'm doing this year. I don't have time to make jibba gravy or anything like that. Maybe that'll be something for the future. Anyway, so there we are. There you have it. Like I said, I gave away all my chicken broth, so guess what? We're using it out of a box this year. Now, you want this really nice and wet. You do not want your dress, I don't know, maybe you do want your dressing dry, but it will dry up. I'm gonna show you, you want it to be all, I don't know, loose. Now see, that cornbread really absorbs that chicken broth. You see that? Now that's nice and moist, but in the cooking process, I like mine moist on the inside. Not like falling apart moist, but I have uh, done this like this a long time and you keep kind of stirring it and it's gonna seem really soupy. But look at it, it's already absorbing so much of that liquid. Do you see that? That looked like it was gonna be too much, didn't it? Okay, so anyway, look at that. How quick, how easy, and now look, Y'all, you know I don't eat on camera, so I'm just gonna off camera. You gotta taste for salt. So that's all I'm doing real quick. Mm, that's perfect. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, I'm gonna see about one egg. I might just put in one egg. And uh, I may go with two. We're gonna have to wait and see. Let me beat this one up and add it and we'll see. You, you don't need too much egg, but it's just enough to uh, help it stick as a binder. All right, so let's dump him in here. We might just get us some chickens. My nephew wants chicken so bad. So, he's a grown man of the family. I, I think he can handle a chicken or two. Let's see. 
when he talks about it, he calls one of them three pieces. <laughs> the other one's going to be Henrietta. <laughs> All right. You know what? This year, so it just, I don't know why. I, I have never had two pans exactly alike. Like I tell you, sometimes I've added bell pepper. Sometimes I've added chicken. Sometimes I've added turkey. Uh, I've used turkey broth, chicken broth, blah, 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 blah. You know, and like I just said earlier, uh, I've added rice. It's good. Okay. All right. Now, I'm actually, this is how my family, that's how we go. And I'm going to add about another half of a teaspoon of poultry season. I'm not getting up digging out the sage, or I may have just made that all sage. But this will work just fine. I had salt and cornbread. And there's one other thing I'm forgetting. You know, I, I'm not a chef. I've, I've said that for years. I'm not Justin Wilson. I'm not Emeril. I'm not Paula. Not any of them, okay? So, I forget stuff too. But, I had it in the microwave, that's why. Uh, I've got half a stick of melted butter. And that is just to bring out that flavor. Now, if you wanted to, if you felt like you got it, too soupy. I'm not going to get up just to show you a round box of I keep plain bread crumbs at hand. It's for one of those emergencies. Uh, but anyway, this is perfect. So now what are we going to do? We're just going to simply switch around. Sorry, this is awkward for me. I know you can't see the black on that good, but you'll see it in a minute. Look. All right. And I am going to have some leftover that I'm going to put in a separate. Whoop. I am making the biggest mess. I always do, don't I? I have learned how to make a mess through the years. Okay, so anyway, i got to get my trash off this table, too. I'm going to put this in here. And remember, the way you put it in, it's going to... Uh, oh, and by the way, I'm sorry. I do my dressing in between 350 and 375. I'm going to do it at 375 this year. And... Uh, but I stick to 350 a lot if I'm way ahead, but this is a crazy year, so we're going to do 375. And you can fill this pan up. It's not going to puff over. You've already made your cornbread. So you can just have a little bitty tiny, tiny loaf pan or something, just put that extra in there. Or you could freeze it. I don't like to freeze it anything after it's cooked like that. So there you have it, guys. I'm going to stick this in for 375, and I'm going to check it at 25 minutes again. You know, uh, as per my previous, I don't know how many videos, because I don't know what order I'm going to drop these videos. Anyway, a few videos back, I showed you my new stove. And I'm not used to it yet. So just like the cornbread, I've never made dressing in it. So the time might be a little off. I will update you how long it did take. Okay, so anywho, uh, I'm going to do it 375. I'm going to check it in about 25 minutes. It'll need a little longer, but I'm going to start checking it after 25 minutes. Do not fail to check. And it when it's set up and you can, uh, you know, after it's cool a little bit, you want to be sure you're not mushy in the middle, okay? But basically, just remember, everything in here is cooked already. You're just firming it up. Now, I like mine a little crispy on the outside and then nice and moist on the inside. You don't want, look, I've had years as a teenager, especially where I served bricks. And God bless my sweet family, they ate every bit of it and told me how good it was. <laughs> There's been times I didn't measure my poultry seasoning. There's been times I put too much sage. There's been times I forgot to add it at all. Blah, blah, blah. You name it, I've done it. So anyway, uh, this is not how I do it every year. This is how I'm doing it this year. But this is a very, very good basic dressing. So let's get it in the oven. And when it comes out, I'll show you. Okay? Sorry, everybody. My bad. Uh, I messed up the beginning of this video. And I guess I've obviously messed up the end. I can't recreate it. So we're going with this picture. I'm sorry. That's what I get for making six videos in one day might be a record. But anyway, 
here's what it looked like tasted great it uh, you just got to make it like I did in the video and just keep an eye on it make sure it's firm to the touch or however you like it you don't want it soupy uh, when it's done and because I did put the raw egg in I had to be sure everything was cooked thoroughly as it was and already it hadn't even been a couple hours and it was all gone so <laughs> it must be pretty good okay I'm going to have to end this here, so thank you for watching, and we're going to move on to the next Thanksgiving video, Cranberry Sauce. See you then. Bye.